today's food for thought comes from the fifth chapter of Galatians verses 15 and 16, which reads, But if you bite and devour one another, beware, lest you be consumed by one another. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We are repeatedly encouraged throughout scripture to love, love, and love again. As we know, the great commandment tells us to love the Lord with all of our heart and to then love our neighbors as we love ourselves. In the verse prior to the scripture that I read to you today, Paul repeats Jesus' teaching by telling the Galatians that the law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. In the Ten Commandments, the Lord told the children of Israel to love their neighbor. They weren't supposed to murder. They weren't supposed to commit adultery. They weren't supposed to steal. They weren't supposed to covet their neighbor's house, his wife, or their possessions. Even more, the Lord commanded the children of Israel not to bear false witness against their neighbor. So why do you believe the Lord gave the children of Israel these commands? Why do you suppose these commands have also been shared with us through the command to love our neighbor as we love ourselves? We, mankind, we have a nature to where we seemingly seek to destroy one another. Some would say that we live in a man-eat-man world where only the strongest survive. You've heard that before, right? We should understand that God did not create a world for only the strongest. No, he created a world for everybody. What even makes one the strongest in the first place? The danger of a world that is absent of love is a world that becomes filled with jealousy and loathing. A world of jealousy, a world of loathing, that is a world that is ready to consume itself. Look around at our world. So why do you suppose the Lord continues to tell us repeatedly to love one another? Because he did not create us to destroy each other.